All these images, who is going to miss all of this? I mean, everybody has a satellite dish on, even a simple Bedouin can run it on a generator in the middle of the desert. They can see for themselves now. The Americans, they'll just radicalize people more and more. There'll be no more room for people like me who speak softly and rationally. The people will push the likes of us aside and they take things into their own hands. Believe me, nobody is crying over Saddam Hussein. Nobody is going to cry over any Arab leader. But the problem is, it's really degrading to an Arab to watch another Arab capital ransack. Did we ransack the, the capital? You bombed, you bombed the hell out of Baghdad. We bombed the hell out of Baghdad with the most precision munitions oh, in the world. Please, we could please, save a lot of money. We could have bought, what, 100 normal bombs, what we pay for one of the precision bombs. They yeah, were incredibly those pre accurate those precision compared bombs to the carpet so bombing. Many civilians, my friends. Uh, compared to the carpet bombing of, 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 of Germany, you can't, you the carpet can't, bombing of Tokyo. I mean, the number of civilians killed, I mean, it is no justification. When a viewer sees that, see, the bombing of Dresden was before the days of television. Since Vietnam, the picture has changed. And now in the Arab world, of course, we, we, we've come to discover the, the wonders of, of television much <laughs> much later than the rest of the world. And uh, when you see the massacres in Palestine and the pe how people are butchered, the idea of another Arab capital occupied is, is really fueling anger. Okay.